What's up tech, it's Josh here, and I wanna talk about my experience with carriers and networks over this last month or so. I've been able to test out the top three carriers of the country in the United States, which is Verizon, AT&T, and T-Mobile. Recently, I had a trip to Birmingham, Alabama, which is a popular town, it's a big city, so it's gonna have the best coverage probably in my state, other than Mobile or Montgomery. But either way, Birmingham was a great spot to try to test out the networks. The results kind of surprised me, and I started to discover that AT&T wasn't as cracked up as much as what I wanted it to be. I thought AT&T coverage was going to be as good as Verizon, and it just wasn't. It's definitely still second best. Verizon was number one by far. I never lost 4G LTE connection, and that's where the difference was made. But LTE coverage was lacking. There was plenty of times or moments where I looked down at the phone, and I was like, it just says 4G. Where is the LTE at? And I never had that experience with Verizon. Unless if I was just in the middle of little nowhere. Uh, there's just a few spots like in some national forest areas to where Verizon struggles. And that's it. Like it's a very, very small spot on the map. Moving on over to T-Mobile. When there was good coverage, it performed the best. It was really good snappy speed and all that kind of stuff. It was right there with Verizon. It performed really well. And when all three were at their peak levels... It was Verizon and T-Mobile neck and neck with each other as far as performance goes, and still, AT&T just was lacking. So I was very disappointed in that because if you didn't catch by now, I swapped over to AT&T recently from Verizon just to test out the stuff. Everybody's got unlimited data now, so there's really nothing holding me back. And one of the main reasons why I went to AT&T is because it's a GSM network, and I'm able to use all kinds of devices and phones that come my way, including the Honor 8 the Honor 6X, and tons and tons of others that I have the chance to review. Like the HTC U Ultra that I had recently, that was a GSM phone. So anyways, phones are a big deal to me and I want to be able to use them to their fullest extent. I did have Cricut Wireless on the side so I could review phones like the Honor 6X, the Honor 8, HTC U Ultra, OnePlus, or anything like that. I had the grandfathered unlimited data plan with Verizon, and now that everybody else had unlimited data, there wasn't much holding back and it was worth testing stuff out. And I'm glad that I did, because I can really get my own opinion about stuff and see what the experience has been like. But yeah, it's, it's been disappointing. Like, I'm really torn now, because I want to use phones like OnePlus and other devices like the Honor 8. I love the Honor 8. It's a great phone. It's what I used before I got the Galaxy S8 Plus. It's just a fantastic device, and being able to use it as my main line was such a refreshing feeling to me, and I was happy that I could use that phone as my main line, my main daily driver. So once like the One Plus comes out, I'm like, man, I, I want to use that phone. I can't wait until the 5 comes out. It's going to be really sweet. It's like One Plus has gotten better every year. Anyways, that's enough phone talk. As you can tell, I like phones a lot, and it's a big deal, and it's a big factor into who I use for my carrier. But if it's not performing to the best levels possible, if you're just not getting the best experience that you could get with something like that. But, I mean, it has a lot to do with the area that I live in. And after my fiasco with AT&T and Verizon, I'll link that video below, the one that's labeled, I was pissed. You'll find out why it's way too long of a story to get into right now, so definitely watch that when you get a chance. With that said, though, if with that frustration that I was feeling at that time, I would have been with T-Mobile if I had better coverage in my area. On the map, it's getting better. I'm impressed with the growth that T-Mobile has had these last few years, but it's still just not quite there yet in order for me to switch over. But until then, I've got to still kind of decide between Verizon and AT&T. I can forgive a little bad performance here and there, but when I'm not getting the speeds like I was getting with when I was with Verizon, it's a noticeable difference, and that really does impact the way things go. And not to mention, my wife, she notices, and <laughs> happy wife, happy life, right? So we'll see what it plays out to be. Stay tuned to social media. I'll probably post up something on there. Not really do a follow-up video to this, but I wanted to get your guys' opinion as well about what you think the best network is, the best carrier. I'm not talking about fanboy kind of stuff. I'm talking about what is your actual experience? Do you go outside of your town that you live in? Do you get outside of your little bubble? I travel. 
I can't help but travel. It just happens. And when I do travel, I want to have good performance. That's a big deal to me. It's really, it's a tie between performance and what phones I can use. It's just a frustrating head-on battle that I have to try to work out. So let me know down in the comments what your thoughts are, what your experience is like. Let me know. Thanks guys for watching this video. I appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up. Also subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any more videos from me. I've got some exciting videos that are just piling up and I can't wait to show you guys. It's going to be fun to release and work on. All right. Yeah. So share this video with your favorite social networks and until then, stay techie.